5.7 most most probably today the syllabus should be completed so exercise 5.7 so in this exercise we shall study first order derivatives and second order derivatives okay so let's do some questions we start with the question number 5 Question number five is x squared x cube sorry x cube log x y equals to x cube log x. Okay, so differentiating with respect to x dy by dx equals to u dash v means x cube dash log x plus log x dash x cube. So this is 3x squared log x plus 1 by x into x cube. So finally it is x squared 3 log x plus 1. So this is dy by dx and we need to find second order derivatives. So this is dy by dx. Again, differentiating with respect to x. So we have d2y upon dx squared equals to x squared per derivatives and 3 log x plus 1 plus 3 log x plus 1 ka derivatives 3 log x plus 1 ka derivatives into x square so it becomes 2x 3 log x plus 1 plus 3 by x into x square so this will be 2x, 2, 3, just 6x, 6x log x plus 2x plus 3x. So this is, this is 6x Take your answer from back side and confirm me. Yes, sir. We shall do question number 11 because from 1 to 10, all of the same kind you can do at your home. Question number 11 is different. So we shall do question 11. So if y equals to 5 cross x minus 3 sine x prove that prove that d2y by dx square plus y equals to 0. So, solution. We have y equals to 5 cos x minus 3 sin x. So differentiating with respect to x. 
we have dy upon dx equals to minus 5 sin x and minus 3 cos x. Again, differentiating with respect to x. Yes, so you'll get 0. Again, differentiating with respect to x. So this is d2y upon dx squared equals to minus 5 cos x and minus minus 3 sin x. So if we see it, if we take minus common, so this will be minus 5x cos x minus 3 sin x, which, which is y. Negative of y. Yeah, negative of y. So d2y upon dx2 plus y equals to 0. Now, question number 12 is important, so you can mark it as important question. Question number 12. If y y equals to cos inverse x, find d2y by dx square in terms of, in terms of y alone. So y equals to cos inverse x is given. Now here goes the solution. y equals to cos inverse x, which means x equals to cos y. Differentiating with respect to y. So dx by dy equals to minus sine y so dx by dy dy by dx dy by dx is reciprocal of it 1 upon minus sine y is what minus cosec y again differentiating with respect to x so d2y by dx square equals to minus of minus cosec y cot y into dy by dx Cosec y ka differentiation is minus, minus cosec y yeah. cot y. Got it? Yes, sir. So this becomes minus minus plus cosec y cot y. And dy by dx is minus cosec y. So it becomes minus cosec square y into cot y. This is the 2 y by dx square. This will be the answer. Check your answer from back side. So why did we add d by, dy by dx? Because we are doing with respect to x and here it is y. 
So okay. At, okay, yes. at last we have to, yeah. Yes. We have differentiated with respect to x. Mm. So differentiation of y is dy by dx. Now, question number 13 and 14. So we will do 14 first. 13 at home. Question 14. If y equals to a e m x plus b e to the power n x prove that show that d to y by d x square minus m plus n y m plus n dy by dx plus m and y m and y equals to zero so solution we have y equals to a e to the power mx plus b e to the power nx so different setting with respect to x dy upon dx equals to a and e to the power mx is m e to the power mx plus b and e to the power nx. Okay. So I want to be mx minus 1. Y minus 1. Oh, oh yes, e sir. to the power yeah. x ka derivative is e to the power x. Yes, this is not x to the power n type. Hmm. This is an exponential function. Yes, sir. So derivative of exponential function remains the same. Got it? Yes, sir. Derivative of mm. any exponential function remains the same. Mm. So d2 y by dx square. Again, differentiating with respect to x d2y by dx square equals to a m e square e to the power mx b m e square e to the power mx So this is, there goes something wrong, I think. Mm -hmm. A m is square, it is even, no, it's correct. So what we have to do, we have to put all these values in the equation. So We put all values of d2y by dx square and dy by dx and y in equation. So we have d2y by dx square minus m plus 1 m plus n dy by dx 
plus m n y equals to zero. So d two y by d x squared is what? A m squared e m x. A m squared e to the power m x plus a b n e squared e to the power n x minus m plus, m plus n a m divided by dx a m e to the power m x plus b n e plus b m e to the power m x um, plus m n plus m n y is what a a e to the power n x plus b e to the power n x yeah. equal to zero. So let's see, we get the zero or not. So we have a m e square e to the power m x plus b m e square e to the power m x. Minus a m e square e to the power m x minus a n b n e square e to the power n x and m into b m into b as well na? Mm. so minus b m n e to the power n x minus a m n e to the power m, m x plus a m n e to the power m x plus b m n e to the power m x so i see they all got cancelled in fact mm -hmm. equals to zero so zero equals to zero hence root verified So, doing question number 16 and 17, these, both of these are important. Question number 16. If, yeah. yes. In question 13, what do they mean by y2, y1? Double derivative, d2y by dx squared and y1 is dy by dx. Okay, sir. That remains the same. First, you need to find dy by dx, then d2y by dx square, mm. then put all these values into the equation. Yes, you will get the answer. Yes, okay, 16 is if e to the power x, e to the power y, e to the power y, x plus 1 equals to 1, show that d2 y by dx square equals to dy by dx whole square. So, solution e to the power y x plus 1 equals to 1. Differentiating with respect to x. So e to the power y, the derivative is e to the power y into dy by dx into x plus 1 plus derivative of x plus 1 is 1 into e to the power y equals to 0. Okay? Yes, sir. So, dy by dx minus 1 by x plus 1 minus 1 upon x plus 1. Plus one. So, again differentiating. Again differentiating. 
this is one key differentiating with respect to x. So this will be d2y by dx square equals to minus minus plus 1 upon x plus 1 whole square. So that can be written as minus 1 upon x plus 1 whole square. Is it? So don't you do u by v? Yeah, you see 1 by x derivative is minus 1 upon x square. Yes, sir. <clears throat> That's why. No need to do a quotient rule. Okay. However, you do the same, you will get the same. Yes, sir. That isn't effect. <clears throat> so d2y by dx square equals to minus 1 upon x plus 1 is dy by dx actually so whole square and that we wanted to prove it and proved and proved Question number 17. <coughs> if y equals... <coughs> if y equals to... 10 inverse x d2 y by dx square. No, it is not like that. So that x square, square plus, plus one whole square y two y two plus two x x, x square plus one y one y one equals to two. two. So solution. y equals to 10 inverse x whole square. So dy by dx equals to 2 into 10 inverse x upon 1 plus x square. Is it? Yes, sir. So we have y1 actually to 10 inverse x upon 1 plus x square. So 1 plus x square y1 equals to 2 10 inverse x. This could be the second equation. Again, differentiating first order dy by dx with respect to x. So dy by dx was y1 was this one. So y2 equals to 1 plus x square whole square. So 1 plus x square into 2 times 1 upon 1 plus x square, which gets cancelled. And minus, minus 2 10 inverse x 
into 2x. 1 plus x square ka derivative is 2x only. Yes, sir. So, transposing this to left hand side, x square plus 1 whole square y2 equals to 2 minus 4x tan inverse x. 4x? Na 2. 2, 2 ja? 4. Four x ten inverse x. So this will be x square plus one whole square y two plus two into two x ten inverse x equals to two. And two x ten inverse x is two ten inverse x is one plus x square y one. Ten verse x is so let it take that is the problem in the world. Sometimes it is stuck. So you just substitute it now, so in the equation. Then yes. you get 2 minus 2. So x square two. plus 1 x square plus 1 whole square y2 plus 2x 2 10 plus x equals to 2. Substituting values from 1, 2. So this is x square plus 1 whole square y2 plus 2x into x square plus 1 10 inverse x, no. X is square plus 1, y1. One. x square plus 1, y1. Check. Yes, sir. We did it. The Rolf's theorem and mean value with theorem is out of syllabus, so we are is is skipping that. Okay, sir. So. Now, here comes the miscellaneous exercise. Chapter Don't ask five. any questions from out of syllabus, sir. Repeat again. They won't ask any questions from out of syllabus. No. Okay, sir. So. Uh, even if the role theorem and mean value theorem, even previously, the question was not asked from this to okay. this to in, from 5.8. Mm. And this year it is deleted, mm. so there is no way to ask. Mm. Yes, sir. Even, even previous in the previous years, questions were not asked from this. Yes, Rarely, one or two year very. It's it's been long time that they asked from Rolf's theorem one question. Okay, sir. So. 
So we are doing now miscellaneous exercise chapter 5 and first question is question number 6. Question number 6 and if you turn over the page miscellaneous exercise chapter 2 question 10 you will find the two things are equal. Can you verify it? Yes, sir. Check it. Both are the same. So they have not given the answer for miscellaneous exercise chapter to 10th question. Chapter 2, 6 question, they are, they are not given? No sir, 10th question they have not given. No given, I, I don't, I mean, understand. Being the answer, right sir, the answer is not given behind. No, no, answer will not be given. I asked you to verify these two questions. These questions are equal. They are the same. The okay. only thing is you have to prove x by 2 over there. Okay. And here you need to find the dy by dx. That is the difference. Is it? Uh, one second, sir. Yes, so it's the same question. So why I'm taking this question? It will revise your chapter two as well. Yes, sir. So what we do? We can rewrite one plus sine x can be written as cos square x by 2 plus sine square x by 2 plus 2 sine x by 2 cos x by 2 which is cos x by 2 plus sine x by 2 whole square and similarly 1 minus sine x equals to cos x y 2 minus sin x y 2 whole square. Got it? Mm. Cos square x y 2 plus sin square x y 2 is 1. Mm. And sin x can be written as sin x y 2 cos x y 2. Mm. So the given expression will be converted. So given expression will be converted like cot inverse cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 whole square but under root. Yes, so root will be cancelled plus cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 divided by cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 minus cos x by 2 minus minus plus sin x by 2. Is it cot x by 2? Yeah, this is cot inverse cot x by 2. And this is identity by using identity, it is x, y, 2. Right. And inverse 10 x is x. Yes. Cot inverse cot x is x. x. So it is x, y, 2 actually. So we got y equals to x, y, 2. So dy by dx equals to 1 by 2. Check your answer from back side. Yes, sir.
Yes, sir. It's one by two. Now we are doing question number nine. Sine x minus cos x to the power cos x sine x minus cos x. Yes. So let y equals to sine x minus cos x whole to the power sine x minus cos x. So taking log, taking log on both sides. Log of y sin x minus cos x log of sin x minus cos x. One by y dy by dx equals to Plus derivative of here, yeah, derivative of sin x minus cos x log sin x minus cos x plus One derivative of three. log sin x minus cos x and sin x minus cos x. So this will be dy by dx equals to y times cos x sin x ka derivative cos x plus sin x log sin x minus cos x log sin x minus cos x plus 1 by sin x minus cos x. Into sometimes okay. one upon sine x minus cos x and derivative of sine x minus cos x cos x, cos x plus sine x into sine x minus cos x. Yes, into sine x minus cos x. So y is what? Cos x. Y is sine x minus cos x. To the power sine x minus cos x. 
times cos x plus sin x log sin x minus cos x You can get take cos x plus sin x common. Hmm. Then you get one. That can, be, yeah, that can be taken common. So log sin x minus cos x and plus one. Yes, that got cancelled. Okay. Yes, Check your answer. Yes, sir. And today we shall end up over here. Because after that, many questions have to be done very carefully. Okay. Uh, question number 15 and question number 17, uh, 18 to 22. Yes. They are deleted. Okay, sir. Note down question number 15 and seven, uh, 18, not 17. 18 to 22 are deleted. So it doesn't mean previously they they come. Okay. Even even previously they were deleted. I don't know why then NCLT is carrying these questions. Okay. This question has not been asked for a long time. Okay. Got it? Got the answer? Yes, sir. So today we will end up the session, uh, and you see the message late in fact. Yes, sir. I was ready since six o'clock. Yes, I didn't check my phone. Mm -hmm. So take care and do your work properly. Yes, sir. And you have enough time for revision because your school has already been closed. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, so it's so close. Have you given week? Okay.